Yo, 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 what's going on everybody? It's your boy, a dude, man, bro, and I hope you all are having a fantastic Tuesday. Today's not just awesome because of the tacos. Uh, we also had some 100% gains and some awesome, awesome price action on a lot of our stocks that we talked about the last two videos. Uh, so I hope you were joining along. I hope you took a couple of those plays uh, because you've probably seen a very green day. Uh, up until the very end where we normally see a Trump pump, but we've seen about the opposite, and it was a Trump dump. It basically took the stock market by storm. It took a crap shoot, but uh, we survived it, though. We had enough gains where we went positive today, which was awesome. Uh, but anyway, I want to start the video out by saying thank you so much for joining along. Leave in the comments below if you took any of those picks that I, I did the last two videos, and uh, if you made any, you know, if you had a green day, uh, or red day, or gold day, or whatever, Le leave in the comments below. And also, on my last video, I did mention that I'm going to be doing the community giveaway and to pick a stock. Uh, so if you haven't yet, please uh, tune into my last video and comment a stock. Like someone else's stock too, if you uh, agree with them. And I'm going to be picking a stock on Friday that I'm going to be putting $100 in. Uh, that's going to be the giveaway, the community giveaway. It's going to be $100 a month, and I'm going to be picking your guys' picks, and we're going to see how much we're going to make in, in a, a year, and then it's going to be donated to two lucky um, community members. So if you're not subscribed and you like the video, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and uh, you know share the video if you like it. But anyway, let's jump right into the video here. So... We have a lot to talk about here, so I'm going to keep this short, though, because a lot of it is just refreshers and some old watches. The first one I want to talk about is, man, OPTT killed it today. Uh, I was lucky enough to get in early, uh, pre-$2, and I am so happy I did uh, because it went insane in the membrane. We ended off awesome um it doesn't show here in the in the video but we actually closed at about three dollars and three dollars and 24 cents my first price target for this was three dollars and 50 cents but i see it gapping up to almost four dollars tomorrow uh depending on how the market stays if it keeps on going with some of these plays the ev and solar renewable energy stocks have just been blowing up I mean, just watch out for a couple of them. There are a bunch out there. Uh, but this is one that I took overnight. Uh, sold a good amount at almost $3, but I kept about 20%, 30% of my shares to overnight. And man, am I glad I did. Uh, it's because it hit over $3 after market. But anyway, enough of that. Let's see. CBAT, I still think this is going to push uh, well over $4 and it might even uh, continue to go up and up and up uh, tomorrow. Uh, I don't think we've seen the last push from uh, this stock. Uh, so if you're still watching it, uh, I would definitely, you know, uh, I've seen a bunch of people have uh, price targets of high fours, if not fives. This one closed very well uh, at almost $4, and I think that if we see the the EV and renewable energy keep on going up in the energy sectors, I think we're going to see this continue to go up. Uh, we might even see $6, depending on how the market goes tomorrow. You know, since we got a little bit of a crapshoot at the very end of the day, we, we might see some pullbacks on some of these. So uh, watch out. Um, that kind of leads me to my spiel. I'm not a financial advisor. Uh, so these are my picks and this is what I'm watching. I'm not necessarily in all of these plays. Please, you know, do your own DD and know what you're getting into before you take any trades. It's going to save you a whole lot of headache and a lot of money. But next one, uh, WWR covered in the last video. Uh, we It went crazy today, almost touching $15 at one time. If we see this one go up, I'm going to be looking at these other plays and I'm going to know that they're probably going to be taken right off of this one. Uh, if we see a huge downtrend on this one, I'm going to be definitely scaling back some of my trades that have to do with uh, sympathy of, of this one and uh, PLL also. So, But we'll have to just kind of see how it goes. Uh, lithium is going crazy right now, but uh, you know how we had the Rona vaccines and SPA, you know, the SPAC plays, how th how quickly those turned around. We could see this any minute, but uh, just, you know, follow the trends, look at what's going on and, you know, pick your trades. Next one I want to kind of just touch on is PLM. Uh, still good amount of money to be made. This one didn't make as much of a splash that I thought it was going to make. We might see it for tomorrow. This one and the next one too. PLG seen a little bit of a pullback at the end of the day because of the, the tweet. 
but I definitely think there's still room to be uh, on this one. Uh, the volume today was outrageous, crazy, and we've seen so much buying going on. I think that this one's only a matter of time before this one starts to run, and I can see three plus on this one. Um, I did take a good amount of, of position at, on the um, drawback at almost two dollars. I think two dollars and five cents. I ended up um, scaling back too, which was is awesome. I feel like uh, lots of room to go. This one has pushed two dollars and forty, two dollars and fifty cents multiple times. So. Keep an eye on this one. ADTX, we didn't see the news that we wanted to, but we're just waiting for the PUA. It's supposed to be 60 days, and I believe they dropped their PR uh, August, the end of August. So uh, this one's going to be a little bit longer of a hold. I'm still very bullish on ADTX, even after it took a little bit of a crap. I actually picked up a bunch of shares at the dip at about 194. So I'm definitely still bullish. It's not going to be till the, probably the end of October that we're actually going to start seeing some awesome gains on this one. But I'm still very bullish. Wanted to let you guys know about that. Next one I want to talk about is SGLB. And I, I can tell you guys, this company has been getting major contracts from a bunch of different sources the only downside is they never release how big the uh, contract is and how much money is involved so it's with a bigger company uh coherent um, it, it was up about 11 percent and it's had multiple contracts in the last couple of months and this company is just going crazy i feel like we're only a matter of time before we see that boom and that little bit of extra 50 percent up if not more so i'm very bullish and it took a, a swing trade on sglb so just wanted to let you guys know, give you guys an update on that. It's kind of not the same, but with SINT, I've mentioned this stock before in the past. Uh, it is a Rona vaccine slash they also do, they just dropped some news that they actually have a new uh, mask fabric. So this is kind of a mask play. You know, seen a lot of price action today, kind of actually ended down on a downtrend and I'm glad I, I didn't pull the trigger right away. But I did buy a, a starter position at about $1.95. Uh, and I'm going to be basically looking at the dips for this one because I think this one should be a $3 stock. No, uh, no problem. I think once we start seeing the Rona uh, vaccine plays and mass plays shoot back up, I think we're gonna, this one's going to be right on top too. And we're going to see some awesome, awesome gains on this one. Next one I want to talk about is CYCC. So the first article I want to bring up is the pricing for the public offering so they just did a offering in april for five dollars a share and if we go back to weeble this is sitting at a little bit under almost four dollars i think there's at least five dollars i would put a price target on this it's almost a dollar almost gain almost guaranteed in, in my personal opinion uh which we could even seen some huge buying today we had a 20,000 bids and some other 50,000 bids uh going on all day uh, that's why i took a little bit at when it dipped to about four dollars i bought a pretty big position on this one and i'm looking at a fight out price target which is almost about a dollar and i'm swinging this one so next couple i'm going to talk about are sympathy plays slash plays that have to do with um hurricane delta the cat uh, category two that's um threatens louisiana actually else was a sympathy play from ppse uh, which basically was a, almost a two dollars and twenty cents, and it rose up to almost ten dollars at one time. It produced generators, and that's very good for you know hurricane situations. Same thing with ELSE, but we've seen so much price action and so much FOMO going on in the last couple of weeks, and people are chasing these type of things. That I wouldn't be surprised if this is has still a good amount of gas left in the tank. I did take a little bit of a day trade on this one. I bought in at four sold out at seven so i made about three dollars a share a pretty good amount but i did not think it was going to go almost to nine dollars that's insane uh this one's on my watch too though because if these two else and ppsi continue their reign uh i'm going to be looking at those two for positions uh ppsi i don't think is done i think it's actually the better of the play my assumption tomorrow is else will probably take a little bit of a dip and PPSI will go about to about six or seven. But another play I wanted to kind of throw out there is HIL. And this is a play that is also have to do with um, hurricane relief. And I believe they um, 
They basically built homes after things have been destroyed by hurricanes. We had a lot of, a lot of price action after hours. Uh, I would not be surprised if this hits $250 to $3 tomorrow. I believe after market, it's in at about $2.10. Uh, so there's plenty of time to actually still make money on this one. This is also going to be the one that's probably going to be on my main list of watches along with OPTT and PLG. Those are going to be probably my three main looks for tomorrow. But yeah, uh, that's basically it. I'm still in all the other plays that I, I was talking about. Uh, there's so many to actually say that uh, there was Pola who actually had some pretty good price movement today. Um, hit just above $4, which was awesome. Uh, that was a pretty good, that was almost a dollar uh, gains on that one. We also seen some other great, great plays. Pay attention to the BLM plays. We have debates coming up and riots have been kind of lowered right now because of everything going on. So uh, those might be really good plays uh u-o-n-e and u-n or u-o-n-e-k definitely look out for those uh those might be booming here soon we might see at least a dollar up on each one of them so uh, keep an eye out on those one anyway that's the video i just want to kind of bring you a brief update and what i'm watching tomorrow and some other things going on thank you so much for joining in on the video thank you for all of the likes and sharing and subscribing going on in the videos you guys are awesome and amazing could not ask for a better community but if you want to follow me on any social media, I have my Instagram, my Twitter, and my Patreon in the links below. I also have my Robinhood and my Weeble referral links if you would like to uh, sign up using my links. All that goes right back into uh, these videos, you know, for updated equipment and just stock ideas, um, you know, even the, the giveaways I'm going to be doing. All that is going right back to you guys and right back into my uh, content. So uh, I very much appreciate it. You guys rock. But anyway, I hope the rest of our week is just stellar awesome. You guys stay classy, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Yo.